Orioles guest tonight from strip ball, Julie Brown, actress Marina Sirtis, from Bad Religion, Greg Graffin, and author Christina Hoff Summers. Oh boy, what a happy group, eh? I know why you're happy today. We're rid of Elian Gonzalez. I think, I don't know, we are taping a little too early, but the Supreme Court was uh, about to say that they're not going to say and that he could go home, and I think that's a good thing because, you know, this kid is so Americanized at this point. Uh, and going home, they put it in terms to him that he could understand. They said, you've been voted back to the island. <laughs> because of the... the uh, no, 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 please. I hate that sympathy applause. I hate that I think I get it. Uh, that's... That Survivor, the big, it's on tonight. You, uh, yeah, see? They, they didn't even watch that. Okay, but it's a big hit. I mean, everyone is cashing in on this. I tell you, the other night I was flipping through the channels, and on the Playboy channel, there was a guy eating a bunny. Uh, <laughs> all right, what else is going on? George Bush, you know the little Bush kid? You know the little Bush kid running for president? Yeah. He's on a whirlwind tour this week. This must be difficult for him of minority groups. I, you know, he, uh, Monday he was speaking to Hispanics in Washington. Tuesday he was with blacks in Detroit, his home turf. And uh, today he was in Ohio with the disabled. Luckily, he's heading for a weekend where he can decompress playing golf at an all-white country club. So luckily, he's not... Okay, please, not, not, not really funny, but pointed. And uh, finally, speaking of all whites, John Rocker is, uh... <laughs> yeah, people like him, okay. Uh, he is heading back to New York tomorrow. He will be at Chase Stadium. And of course, you know, in his big interview that caused all the controversy, he complained about riding the number seven subway train in New York City because there was foreigners and gays. Well, he said he's going to do it again. That's what he's going to do tomorrow. He's going to ride the subway train. You know what I say? Big deal. If you want to court death in New York, how about how he goes to Central Park in a tube top and short shorts? <laughs> All right. Let's meet our panel. The band is Bad Religion. The CD is The New American. He is Greg Graffin, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Greg. Hi, how you doing? There you are. Bad Religion. And what religion is the bad? The Brady Fellow of the American Enterprise Institute. Her new book is The War Against Boys, How Misguided Feminism is Harming Our Young Men. Christina Hoff Summers, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thank you for getting here. <laughs> she is a fine actress from all over the galaxy, a Star Trek's counselor, Deanna Troy. Marina Sirtis, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. How are you? Thanks for coming back. A very funny actress and host of the new Comedy Central show, Strip Mall. Oh, she is funny. Julie Brown, right over here. <laughs> Hello, Give me a kiss. It's been years. <laughs> Come on. Don't play with me. All right. Uh, I love this book. Where are you? <laughs> Who wrote it? Come on. I did. Thank you. Show of hands. The War Against Boys. And I'll tell you why. Because... Uh, I've been saying for a long time on this show that, you know, the male agenda is always demonized and the female agenda is lionized and romanticized. And this book is saying that uh, what we've been hearing, that girls are getting the short shrift, is baloney. You say it's the boys. And I yeah. could quote you. <laughs> That's how <laughs> prepared I right am. Card, right. um, yeah, I have it right here. You, you, the boys well, are significantly behind girls in most of the ways that count. Just I one, hope so. one statistic. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank now, you. Cheap sex joke, cheap go hunt up. <laughs> For example, the average 11th grade boy writes right. like an 8th grade girl. The reading gap is huge. The college gap, our colleges are now 55% female, 45% so male. Why, so what is, where does this come from, this idea that it's the girls who are in trouble, that it's, somehow they're suffering from... The, the girls are shortchanged, diminished, silenced. Right. Uh, for about 10 years, we've had some very well-organized women's groups ah. who have argued that girls are shortchanged and silenced and it was the, what I tried to do in, in the war against boys is to get the best scholarship I could to go to the Department of right. Education the National Center for Education Statistics and see how children are really faring and these women's groups just got it backwards well maybe the girls are doing better because they're not shackled anymore 
and maybe the girls are doing better because they're not being, you know, picked on by the boys and maybe the girls are doing better because they're allowed to do better now and maybe girls are just smarter than boys. Hello? <laughs> you know? No, 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 no. No, that, that isn't fair. I have a little boy and he's brilliant. And oh, I'm sure he is, Julie. <laughs> he is brilliant. I'm sure. I'll fight you. Okay. okay. Come on. I'll hit you, bitch. Oh, celebrity <laughs> chick fight. I love it. <laughs> It's a slap fest. Yeah. Are you, are you is that part of the philosophy that a friend of mine, David Brooks, calls the women are from Venus, men are from hell? No, no, I'm not. I'm actually oh, married no. and happily married, and I love my husband very dearly. But um, He's just dumber than you. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, just, I just think that you can probably find research to support any argument that you come you up with these days. Day. Especially in social science. Exactly. Which is yeah. exactly what we're talking about. Don't you about think here. they used to expect less from girls in the past, but now oh. it's sort of equal? Uh, no, they did. It's true that in the past, girls were held back arbitrarily, and I think we needed a corrective. And I'm not against everything that some of the women's groups did, but they went too far, and they've, now Why they've they gone, gone so too far. far? Well, I, I, maybe they're demonizing Maybe it's boys. evolution. We're, maybe uh, women are supposed to be in charge one day. Well, maybe you think you so. Know, <laughs> hey. Maybe that's... Oh, right, like you're in charge yeah, now. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not following right. you. Yeah, right. Saddam like... Hussein, good yeah. to see you. Maybe everybody. that's what's going to happen. <laughs> maybe that's what's going to happen. Instead of yeah, trying to correct it, maybe this is the way evolution is going to go, and it's going to be the but... time of the woman. And girls are going to... And what? women will... Hey, we might have a woman president one day. Yeah. But, you know, well. but, you know, excuse me, if men turn into big wusses, we won't want to have sex with them, will we? <laughs> You that's speak for so yourself. True. Uh, isn't that true? <laughs> no. I mean, it's true. Right. You can absolutely control a guy. Do you want him? It's not about yeah. control. Yeah. It's about... <laughs> it's, a, it's not about control. Because it is you're about saying... control, and it's about the feminization of little boys.